guys holy cow this is right after two <laughs> layers of the tan i've honestly never scrubbed off my tanner so much just so i could give you guys like a true kind of idea of what this ish does for your soul youtube fam and welcome back to our channel i have been wanting to do a tanning routine video for years now and the time is here i'm so excited to just share what cat and i do to just stay bronzy i just feel like being tan literally just like makes you feel some type of freaking way like it makes me just feel so much more confident and just good it just it really does do something for you and like i personally like doing self tan i've laid in beds like in high school and whatnot and i personally just you know i don't want to go there <laughs> i don't want to go there but anyway i'm going to be sharing just all my tips and tricks for you guys so let's jump right in so first and foremost i want to talk about the whole entire pre-process of my tanning routine so when i'm in the shower I have an exfoliating. So they have these at like the grocery store. I got it at a local market. It's purple because of my purple shampoo, but you guys can kind of see that it has a little bit of roughness to it. So I apply my tanner a couple times to a few times a week. So with that being said, I don't love exfoliating like super hard with this because I don't want all the tanner to come off most of the time about once a month i'll make sure that i really exfoliate and just get like everything off i'll go more into those steps in just a second but every time i know that i'm going to apply my tanner i use this cloth and just i put a little bit of just body wash on there and i make sure to just lightly exfoliate pretty much everywhere the main areas that get like i guess blotchy if you would say would be this area for me a little bit on my knees your wrist kind of like anywhere that like really bends like this area behind my knees my ankles so i'm just sure that i'm getting kind of all that residue off prior to my tanning application i'll do that and then sometimes even when i get out of the shower i'll kind of just like rub a little bit more with just a towel and then i apply lotion like you'll see right here to those same areas that i just exfoliated i don't apply lotion over my entire body prior to tanning just because i feel like it doesn't let the tanner itself like really like soak in and do what it's supposed to do so from there you guys i will apply my tanner so i will pump it on to the mitt like so and then i will just gently rub where i want my tanner you guys can see hat has been using the mitt and i typically use latex gloves these are just ones that i get literally at target they're just i don't know if they're like medical grade or i'm not even sure i just i got these at target but i typically liked using these because i had never tried the mitt before i don't know why i just i was like the mitt's gonna like soak up the tanner and like i'm gonna need to use more of the tanning product like you know i'd rather just be a little bit more conservative with it so i typically always did use the latex gloves but i freaking love the actual tanning mitt you guys it just it makes the tan way more even and then it also just makes it a little bit darker so you don't need to apply it as often and honestly just it makes the tan just very even and just beautiful so these are the two tanning lotions that i use i've been using this one for probably about i want to say three to four years and then loving tan actually came out with this new product it's a platinum tanner so this one just develops a little bit quicker and then it seems a little bit darker and then it also lasts longer so if you are new to tanning i would recommend just the typical deluxe mousse i use the color ultra dark but if you are like gradually like working your way into a tanning routine you could even do a lighter shade i think they have just medium dark and then ultra dark i like being extra 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 bronzy so like i love i love the ultra dark it's just like a very beautiful natural olive -y finish and then this also has like a beautiful natural olive -y, olive -y, olive -y 
finish. Both of these are the tanning products that I use. I love them so much and I've used other tanners and like sometimes they're like a little bit too like green or like too watery where like they don't stick and like hold the tan. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be applying tanner every freaking night. Like I don't want to be doing that. You know what I mean? If I have to, I will because I love being tan. But typically I you know, I would prefer not to. So this is the one that I would recommend if you are new to tanning. This is just the Deluxe Bronzing Ultra Dark. Typically I apply my tanner every two to like four days. I know that does seem a little bit drastic, but like I just like being tan, especially cause Kat and I are filming all the time. It makes everything look a little bit better, if you know what I mean. So when I wanna exfoliate my entire tanner off, you guys, Loving Tan, they have um, a deluxe tan remover. I have honestly yet to use this, but I'm freaking stoked to because honestly sitting there in this shower, like rubbing and scrubbing your tanner is just, <laughs> it can honestly be a little bit painful. Hey, beauty is pain. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm really excited to use this. This is just a new product. I, right now you can get this on their website and then they also sell Loving Tan at Ulta. And then I know they have Ulta and Targets as well. So if that's a little bit more convenient for you, there you go. And then this is just the same type of cloth material as this rough one. This one's a little bit grunge. I've literally had it forever. I should probably get a new one. I like that this is like an actual like glove itself. And then it is a little bit rough. This actually feels more gentle than this one. This one's pretty freaking aggressive. But this is, I'm assuming, a gel formula. Let me see here. This is... Yeah, it's just, it's like a gel-based formula. I'm actually, I'm freaking stoked about this because if you're a tanning type of gal, you know the pain of like getting your tanner off. But typically, yeah, Kat and I apply our tanner about two to four times a week, like I said. The tanner itself, if I were to apply one application, it would last me, I want to say like, roughly like five days or so i go back and forth in between like say monday i apply my tanner i'll do two layers and then say thursday i do my, i apply another coat of tanner i'll do one layer and then i'll do two layers and then i'll do one layer and then i find that my tanner is getting like a little bit you know a little cess and just not very like clean and like it needs to be rubbed off that's when i'll do my full on exfoliation and then that next tanner application, I do two layers just because like I want it to be like a bit darker. So after I apply my tanner, I do throw on a big baggy t-shirt. You don't want to put tight clothes on just because you don't want like the clothes to leave streaks anywhere. You want your tanner to dry just very smooth and just beautiful and just creamy and flawless. So I'll, yeah, I'll put on a big baggy tee, put on some baggy shorts and then I'll wait about like at least 20 to 30 minutes before I do put tight clothes on. Ideally, you would want to apply your tanner at night and like put your baggy clothes on and then sleep in it and then you could rinse off in the morning. I like waiting at least six hours before I rinse, but you could go upwards of, you know, 12 or however really long that you want, but I wouldn't rinse before like I said six hours, I wouldn't rinse before maybe like four hours or so, but you do see an immediate difference once you put the tanner on, like you will see in the comparison pictures here. And then I apply it Monday night, Tuesday morning or Tuesday afternoon, I rinse my tanner. I will then make sure to apply either a lotion. I feel like I could always be better with applying my lotion. <laughs> okay, don't come after me. I honestly, it's something that I need to work on. I know, but it truly does make your tan just like hold and stay soft and stay buttery and like stay natural looking. I have also previously used a glycerin. So if I apply my tanner Monday and then Tuesday I get out of the shower. I can also put this onto my body. I have experience with this. This makes your tan and just like 
body very soft and keeps it very just buttery and beautiful i kind of like the lotion better but if you want to try this as well this does work pretty good and like leaves your skin really just soft i'm gonna go ahead and answer some of your guys's questions that you guys asked on our instagram i'm just gonna go through all of the questions and try my best to find the most frequent ones just to i know this process can be like a little bit overwhelming and like it can be scary because i feel like there's so many like horror tanner experiences i personally love it and i feel it's very just like easy and convenient i'd rather do this than a spray tan i used to do spray tans in high school and it's just a little bit inconvenient i would like to just like get out of the shower apply my tanner okay let me go into the questions now can you use latex gloves or a mitt i honestly like using the mitt better i've always used latex gloves until like the past two months and this just makes your tan literally like flawless and i typically would apply two layers every single time but since using the mitt this just makes it last longer i would recommend the mitt and then it also was just easier when you are in like your like wrist and hand area it just makes it blend way better and then there's another question of how do you get your hands to look natural and like not so orange so typically before applying the tanner on your hands you guys you can do a thin layer of lotion and then i wouldn't apply more tanner on the actual mitt just use the tanner that's kind of like already soaked in there and then just gently rub you could always be better and i honestly didn't apply lotion last night when i put it on so just bear with me here but typically you could just apply the extra tanner that's on the glove rub gently you want to bend your knuckles and like just get in between these little crevices here and then it's recommended that you leave the tanner on your hands for about like 20 to 30 minutes and then you wash your hands just because your hands typically tend to hold the tanner a little bit more intensely than the rest of your body i feel like this also goes for your ankles and like elbows that's why like i recommend applying lotion in these areas prior to tanning that way they don't like stick to those more dry kind of bendable areas that tanner typically tends to stick to how often do you reapply i feel like i already answered this i typically reapply every two to four days i know that's pretty extreme i feel like for a kind of regular individual that doesn't like need to be tan all the time i feel like once a week would be beautiful and therefore you could kind of like give yourself time to let the tanner fully come off if you exfoliate your tanner say on like a saturday maybe sunday do a full layer of lotion kind of like get your skin rehydrated and moisturized and then maybe like sunday night rinse shower exfoliate one more time and then apply your tanner i feel like that always works really well for me is letting that lotion like sink into your body getting your skin rehydrated and then your skin is just prepped and ready for the tanning product itself and it really just sucks it in a little bit better exfoliate shave moisturize then tan i don't know how to do it sorry my phone's kind of let me turn this on silent so yeah, i shave first and then exfoliate and then i personally don't do lotion over my entire body before i'm tanning i'll put lotion in my dry more kind of like areas that tanner tends to stick opposed to putting lotion everywhere how do you avoid the nasty brown marks all over your knuckles i kind of just said how i apply the tanner to my hands you want to make sure though you guys that you do rinse the tanner off max 30 minutes on your hands i know cat is a little bit worse than i am with this cat's hands typically like have tanner all over them another key tip is i right after i apply the tanner on my hands i'll get a damp towel and kind of just scrub the bottom of my hand because i don't want my palms to have tanner on them and i feel like you probably don't as well so i'll just scrub my palm and my fingers the tip of my fingers and then just kind of like come on the side here with a damp towel that always seems to help and i'll even like bring that up a little bit on my wrist just very gently very lightly just so it kind of like fades into your arm really nice how long does the full tanning routine take so once i get out of the shower it honestly takes me i don't know maybe like 10 minutes or so 10 to 15 minutes i feel like it might take a little bit longer if you're new just because like you'll like want to go a little bit slower but honestly not long at all i feel like it dries before i can even spread it if that's your case you guys just make sure that you're applying maybe just a smaller amount and doing like smaller sections at once 
I feel like I'm more of an advanced tanner so I can just like really go. I will typically start with my chest and then do like this side first and then I'll do another pump and I'll do this side and then I'll leave with the remaining residue that's on the glove, I will then like go up into my neck area. I don't do an extra pump for my neck just because I feel like there's enough product here and my neck doesn't need to be like extremely tan. I definitely want it to match the rest of my body, but I just work with the residue that's on the glove already. How do you tan your face? I don't apply the actual tanner on my face. I actually use the Tan Lux Drops. I mix that with my lotion or I will apply my skincare routine at night, apply my just serums and then my lotion and then I'll do like literally one drop of tanner of the Tan Lux Drops and then I will just dab the Tan Lux Drops together in my hands and then I won't rub it all over my face. I'll typically just dab it on my forehead, on my eyelids, kind of like in my contour areas. I don't go in the center of my face because I feel like the tan Lux drops like it makes this area a little bit darker for some reason for me. So I just keep it in my contour areas and like kind of like blend it down my neck and it honestly just gives your skin like a very natural, beautiful, just like a little bit sun-kissed glow because otherwise my face is extremely white compared to the rest of my body and that's not the vibe that I'm going for, you know? And I feel like when your face is a little bit tanner, it just, you wake up and you look at it just, you feel better, okay? It just, it makes me feel just more confident and just good. And it matches the rest of my body, which I feel like is very important. Does it rub off on clothes, particularly white clothes? I am not gonna lie to you and say that it doesn't. I feel like I could wear white clothes more often if I wasn't sweating. Like, I don't like working out in white clothes because, like, when you sweat, the tanner, like, does tend to, like, rub off a little bit. It's not super extreme. And if you bleach your clothes, then you are probably fine. But over time, if you were to say like wear the same white shirt and wash it even every single day for seven days, like you would notice that it would kind of like leave a, like a tan residue. So I honestly do have to stay away from white. After you rinse the tanner though, and you wear white and if you're not sweating, you should be pretty good to go, to be honest. You don't want to wear white if you're applying your tanner say at night and then like the next morning you don't rinse it and you put a white top on like you're gonna have like that residue. How do you prevent buildup? I typically will just gradually rub with soap and exfoliate just like very gently in the shower before applying, which always helps with buildup. How do you get it so even on your stomach, you guys? I feel like the tanning mitt really helps just keep everything even and smooth. And this will make it so you don't have to apply the tanner as often, which I honestly prefer. It's just way more convenient. My tanner becomes splotchy and wears off within three to four days is this normal you guys i feel like all self tanners just inevitably are going to get a little bit splotchy over time especially if you're reapplying like multiple or even a couple times a week i feel like that is completely normal if your tanner is getting to the point where it's too splotchy that's when i would recommend a full-on like hard exfoliation and i haven't used this yet but like maybe this will help with that process of just removing the tanner entirely therefore you're not working so hard on kind of like exfoliating your skin because i know that can honestly be like a longer process and a little bit painful <laughs> how long do you leave the tanner on before washing i typically like i stated i would wait at least six hours i know loving tan also has like a two hour deluxe and i've used that and it is a little bit more extreme than either of these and that one you can rinse off after two hours so if it's a friday night and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon like you gotta like you want to be tan you want to be glowy and you don't have tanner on yet i would probably recommend the two hour express or this one just because this one does develop a little bit quicker than this mousse but with the two hour express it is recommend that you leave that one on it for at least two hours but with these two products i would recommend maybe at least six hours that's when i feel like it develops and leaves my skin looking really just like nice bronzy and glowy after i wash it how often do you do it 
how do you apply your joint areas, your elbows and knees. So one more tip you guys with your elbows and knees, with those areas, if I'm applying my pump and I'm applying it on my arm, I'll actually avoid my elbow area until I'm done applying my tanner to the rest of my arm area. That way there's not a lot of tanner on the mitt when I am doing my elbow, if that makes sense. I have a little bit of a, I should have applied more lotion right here, like at least like gently rubbed a little bit. But that typically tends to help. I don't wanna do a pump and like directly apply it to my elbow because that's just where the product tends to stick a little bit more naturally. So I don't wanna saturate the glove and apply it directly. So yeah, like I said, I'll just apply it all over my arm like so. And then with the remaining residue that's on the glove, I'll kind of just gently rub or even dab around my elbow area and then same for my knees. How do you get your back by yourself? You guys, this is a freaking mission and like I'm not that flexible, you know what I mean? I kind of just have to work with my flexibility and range of motion and I'll apply it like so. I'll bring my arm around, make sure that I'm getting my lower back and then my side areas and then I'll put it on my other hand and get this side. I know it's hard to get like your middle back. My left arm is a little bit more flexible, so I feel like I can bring the mitt up a little bit higher. And then I pull my elbow down like so, and just try and get the middle. I've honestly, you guys, I there has been times where I'll actually like stick a spatula in either the mitt or the latex glove, wrap a rubber band, and I swear this actually works really well. Let me just show you guys. This is some professional shit, actually. I actually forgot about this, so I'm glad you brought this up. So I'll stick the spatula in the mitt, I'll tie a rubber band, and then you can really reach with the bottom of the stick. Like, so I'm not gonna do it because I don't have the rubber band on here, but that's actually a really good tip. Or typically, if you have a partner, to apply it, you know, that's always like a little bit more convenient and easy, but I understand that some of you don't. So actually the whole spatula situation, can you take it girlfriend? I need to actually start using that again. I forgot about that. How do you do your armpits? Your armpits can be a little bit tricky because that's a sweaty situation, you know? So typically I will not apply a pump a tanner. I'll leave the residue on the glove. Say maybe after I do like my arm and my chest area, I don't apply lotion to my armpit but I would typically just dab in my actual armpit but you, you don't want your armpit to have too much tanner you know what I mean you just kind of want to slowly kind of make it gradual in like an ombre effect into the remaining parts of your body but either dabbing or just gently rubbing with the residue that's already on the mitt. A good moisturizer that doesn't break apart your tan. I don't know like what the best lotion is. I just use the CeraVe Lightweight. I typically jump around from lotions. This one is lightweight oil free fragrance free it has hyaluronic acid this may not be like the cleanest lotion that you can use and maybe if you guys have other lotion recommendations i'm very open to using a different one and maybe if you guys are watching this and you need lotion or recommendations you can look in the comments but this is the one that i personally use at the moment and it seems to work just fine how do you avoid getting it on your bedding i would recommend applying your tanner and throwing on a big baggy t-shirt and then big baggy sweat and then rinsing it off in the morning. That's typically how I avoid getting it on my bedding. That seems to help me most. Laser hair removal and not wearing tanner. How do you manage that? I don't. My armpits are a little bit easier to exfoliate and like get that tanner off that area just because it's not as intense as the rest of my body because I just apply it with the residue area. So typically that's a little bit easier to scrub off. And I feel like this, I haven't used this yet, like I keep saying, but this would probably really help with that. But typically I don't have like laser hair on my legs or my arms and then I do do laser hair on my like chin and upper lip area so typically I won't apply my like face tanning drops a few days prior to my laser hair appointment and I I'm typically good to go. How often do you tan your face? So like I said, I use the tanning drops, you guys, the Tan Lux ones, and then I won't apply those every night. I'll apply the Tan Lux drops about every three days or so. Does it streak from sweating? If I apply my tanner Monday night and then I work out Tuesday morning before rinsing my tanner, like you will have some streaks, but if I apply it Monday night, 
I wake up Tuesday morning, I rinse my tanner and then go train. I don't streak just because you're getting that kind of like first topical coat off and then you just have that nice a bronzy skin where your tanner is just kind of like stays put and even so yeah have you tried loving tan platinum absolutely love it you guys i have and i honestly freaking love it i like being extra dark i prefer this one a little bit more than this one but if you are a little bit newer i would suggest just the regular loving tan mousse do you shave right before yes i do I shave right before every single tanning application. How long before do you tan for an event? If I have an event, say Friday, I would do a fresh coat of tan Thursday evening, and then I would rinse off Friday morning and then apply my lotion. Therefore, I'm ready for the event. That's if the event is in the morning. And then even if the event is Friday evening, I will still apply my tanner Thursday night. I will either then like go work out Friday morning and then shower and then apply my lotion. Therefore, it's just like very nice, moisturized and glowy. I don't like applying my tanner the same day as the event just because typically it doesn't get as dark and like doesn't develop as quickly as I would prefer. How do you not get your clothes dirty when you sweat? You guys, I feel like it's really important that if you are like wearing tighter workout clothes, you immediately, like once you get home, throw your clothes in the wash. Follow the instructions that are provided on the clothes. I typically like washing my clothes in warm water. But yeah, don't let your clothes sit in your laundry pile with tanner on them. Try and wash them as quickly as possible once you do take your clothes off. It is sometimes inevitable to restrict your tanner from getting on your lighter clothes, but I do find that when I rinse them and wash them immediately, it typically just comes out and your clothes are fine. Why don't you put the tanning mousse on your face? I just feel like this develops a lot darker than I would like my face to be, so it's great for my body, but I do want my face just a little bit natural and like more gradual looking like i feel like your face is naturally gonna be a little bit lighter than your body if you wear sunscreen and you keep your face out of the sun so yeah i just like that the tan lux drops are just more gentle and more natural looking i don't want my face to be as dark as my actual body how long does the bottle last you so they do have two different size bottles this one is 200 milliliters so 6.7 ounces and then this one is how many ounces is this one this one is four fluid ounces so this one would last me probably about about like three weeks or so and this one would last me over a month so yeah depending on how much you also apply your tanner but that's kind of my estimated amount there do you shower the next day typically yes if I apply my tanner in the morning, I could rinse it that night, but if I apply my tanner at nighttime, it's definitely great to just sleep in it, let it like soak in and set, and then rinse it in the morning. I can't get past the smell of self-tanning, any tips? I personally don't mind the smell of this at all. I know spray tans don't love the smell of spray tans, honestly. like. I remember, I don't know, I just remember them being like super intense. This honestly just smells kind of like beachy and like refreshing, if you will. It does, all self tanner is gonna like kind of have a little bit of that scent, but this isn't like super strong or like overwhelming for me personally. How to make it last longer? I would say applying lotion in between applications will help your tan just stay more even, more beautiful, more glowy, and just, you know, you're keeping your skin moisturized. So I feel like it's a better environment for the tan to just stay on and stay just natural and just very smooth looking. How many showers does it last through? If I'm not exfoliating every single shower, I think the tanner would last realistically maybe about like five to seven days or so, which is a decent amount of time. I apply it a little more frequently because like I keep saying, I like being extra tan all the time. <laughs> you guys, I think that's going to wrap up this tanning video. Kat and I have literally been using Loving Tan for freaking over three years. I want to say closer to the four year mark. I've used other self tanners. I just love the way this applies. I absolutely love the color. It's just like natural bronzy and like an olive -y color, which just 
is my preference. I've used other self tanners, like I said, and I just, I truly love these so much. I put it in our favorites video a while, while back because it's truly a product I feel like I could not live without. So thank you, Loving Tan, for creating something so amazing. And then Kat and I, you guys do have a support code. It is going to be KKFIT at checkout if you guys want to get a free application mitt. And then just using KKFIT at checkout, it also just shows the company that we are like providing them with value. It's truly a company we absolutely love. And like I said, I wouldn't want to use another tanning product. So it just shows them that we, you know, we're adding some value, but I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm excited to see you guys getting all bronzy. Um, if you have any other tanning questions, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. I feel like I really touched on everything, but if you need me to be a little bit more specific on one personal question go ahead and leave your questions there and i will get back to you guys but like i said everything's linked below hope you guys just found this video helpful thank you for tuning in we'll see you in the next one love you so much stay golden stay bronzy and take care of yourself bye you guys